Tinnitus or tinnitus is a problem that affects millions of Americans, but it's also surrounded by mystery and misconceptions. Here to shed some light on the problem and to tell us about a new treatment, please welcome Dr. Lacey Brooks back to the show from Hearing Aid Express. All right. Um, tinnitus, tinnitus, um, you say tomato, I say tomato. Uh, it's pronounced both ways, but what is it? Basically, it's ringing in your ears, or the perception of ringing in your ears. Yeah. You're hearing it, no one else around you is. Okay, what's the cause of it? Well, there are various causes. It can be genetics, but the most common cause for tinnitus is noise-induced hearing loss. Okay, so stuff that we did <laughs> years before. Yes. We talked about that a little bit earlier about mm -hmm. uh, prolonged exposure or being at a very, very loud event for quite some time that causes damage to the ears. All right, so what exactly is happening in the ear when we keep hearing that ringing? It's the hair cells are damaged and they are emitting a sound that's near your auditory nerve and your brain interprets it as being important. Uh, your brain thinks that because the signal is so close that it's something it needs to pay attention to. Yeah, and you, you mentioned that uh, noise-induced hearing loss is the biggest reason, but other things can be like an infection? It can. You can have a middle ear infection or, or other things going on to block your eustachian tube, but those are temporary causes of tinnitus. Um, more uh, when you're dealing with someone that has it on a chronic basis, it is because of the hair cell damage. All right, and then allergies can cause it yes, at times? Yes, it can. It can, but th those are more episodic, um, yeah. more so than the everyday, no relief. Yeah, of course, the thing that's not episodic for any of us is this thing called aging. <laughs> right? True, and true. aging at the same time can be equated with that prolonged over your lifetime exposure uh, to hearing at a higher level than, than is healthy for the ears. Okay, so there is a new possible therapy. And by the way, before we even get to that, I, I think a lot of you know what we're talking about. Have you ever had that ringing in your ears? Yeah. yeah. So there's people who have it constantly. I've had it at times. I may, yeah, that's what it sounds like right there. Right? But I've had it at times where it, it just may be when I'm going to sleep or when I wake up in the morning and then it, it goes away but for some people it is constant and loud yes the range of intensity for tinnitus range from slight to catastrophic um, 50 million Americans have tinnitus and of the 50 million Americans two to five million have it so badly that they can't function on a normal day-to-day -day basis Wow so, okay so there is a, a therapy, a new therapy. Yes. Tell yes. us what this therapy is. The therapy is through a method of habituation. It's basically teaching your brain not to hear the tinnitus. So you wear the devices during the day. There are different milestones within the therapy that we want to achieve. Um, the first progression is that your tinnitus will be lower. The volume or the pattern will be um, less stressful. Yeah. And then you move to where when you're having the therapy on you, then you're not hearing the tinnitus. And eventually, um, you want it to where you can go for an extended period of time with or without the devices and not hear the tinnitus yeah. at all. Basically, convincing your brain that, look, there's nothing there. Absolutely. Or, or yeah. background teaching, noise. Teaching it not to hear okay. the tinnitus. Okay. This gentleman over here in our audience actually is wearing the device in his ear there. So uh, pretty small, but tell us what that is doing. It is, and the important thing to note here is this is not a hearing aid. This is a tinnitus therapy device. They've just put it in, in the configuration of a hearing aid to make it easy to use for day-to-day -day life. The two are very different. Um, the therapy that we're discussing, the habituation method, it is not a masker or a noise generator that just simply you know, makes you tour, you can't hear the noise. It's actually a therapy device that's teaching your brain not to hear it. So yeah. there's a huge difference between a masker and the tinnitus therapy device. Is this also something available to somebody who may have hearing aids, so they have, they're hard of hearing, but they also have that ringing that's kind of inside their brain as well? Well, the good news is, is the devices and the technology available now is that if you do have a hearing loss, there can be parts of this device programmed to where you can, it will amplify so you can hear the therapy, but it's a tinnitus therapy device first. It's only, it's only um, can be altered uh -huh. in special cases for hearing. So it's both because right. you can have tinnitus and still have normal hearing. Yeah, yeah. All right, Dr. Brooks, thank you very much. You can call Hearing Aid Express today for a free tinnitus treatment trial. If you choose to purchase a therapy device and mention Great Day Houston, you'll get $400 off that set. And if you don't have tinnitus, you can still save $400 off a pair of top-tier hearing aids. Just call 713-666-1704, 713-666-1704, and mention Great Day Houston. You can also go to hearingaidexpress.com. Up next.